Hi, and welcome to the second of the series of videos on building mini coracles. These pictures here are of mini coracles that were built at a school in Dumfries uh, as part of a clearing project. And this video here is going to show you how to make a framework that you can use for holding your coracle together while you're constructing it, if you're not able to go out into the back garden and just stick things into the ground. Okay, so if you're making these boats in your garden uh, or in uh, the way that they used to be, then you get your uh, piece of bendy wood and you stick it in the ground and that holds it as a frame. However, if you don't have a garden you can do that in, uh, you can still make a frame for holding your boats. The thing about making the boat, whichever way you do it, is trying to make it symmetrical, trying to make everything fit together and uh, you can do that using some really simple technology, like a pen and a bit of string. So if you're doing it on a board like this, which is what I'm going to show you how to do, then um, you need to think how wide your boat can be, and it can't be wider than the board is. You want to leave a little bit of a gap on either side, because otherwise uh, the drill will go through the edges and it won't hold well. So you can measure from one side to the other, and then take a little bit in on that side. This is 50. I'm going to take 5 off at each side for a, a border. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 50 minus 10 is 40. That means that if I come in here, 5. And then 40 at the other side, I can mark on both sides. And half of 40 is 20. So I can find the middle, which is going to be there. And I'm going to do a cross to mark the middle so it stands out. To make the bow of the boat, that's the front part, round, then if I have the bit of string with a knot tied in at 20 centimetres, and I put that on the middle, the knot on the middle, then I can just move and make a nice circle. Or half a circle. Then you need to decide how long you want to make your boat. Now there's a whole load of equations uh, for making boats and for deciding what's fastest. But, well, some coracles are just perfect circles. Uh, and they spin round lots. Uh, to give it a little bit more space so you can put some cargo in it or something, then let's make it a square in the middle here. So to make the square in the middle, then to keep everything nice and tidy, you want to give your boat a spine. And can you feel your back, how you've got your spine running and that keeps your body nice and straight? Well, on a boat, that would be called a keel. Uh, so what I'm going to do on here is mark out where the keel would be. Now, I can do that by measuring in from one side. And do you remember it went in five? And then 20, so that's 25. So if I move down a bit, and hopefully this edge is straight, I can mark 25. And then if I mark in another place, 25. If you've got three dots and you join them together, you always get a straight line. So that gives me a straight line that's in the middle. And I can do the same for the edges. Now, this is slightly off on here, so it's four. If anything is difficult when you're making something, change what you're doing, make it easy. Because if you've made it easier, then usually you'll get it more accurate and better. So if you're drawing and you can't get your hand around the paper, move the paper. It's not exactly being lazy, but efficiency in movement is definitely a virtue. Uh, so if I wanted to make this square, then on the square all the sides are the same length. So. <laughs> This should be 
20, 20, 40. So, 40. And then, Mark where the forties are. I can draw where the middle of the other end is going to be. And I don't need to draw the whole line because the really interesting bit is the middle. Then I still got my string on here. It's just becoming a little untangled, but I can check that the knot's in the right place. Move to the new center I want. Aha! And I've got a nice, neat, tidy shape drawn out. Now the next thing I need to do is just to mark where uh, all the ribs are going to go in, so it can be nicely spaced out. There's not a fixed rule to this, um, and it's your model, so you can experiment with lots of different things. But if you've got too few ribs, then there's going to be big gaps. And if you've got too many ribs, it's going to take you forever, and you're almost making a wooden boat. So I'm going to space them out maybe 10 centimetres apart. I'm going to start where the curve is, mark 10, so then it's going to be 20, 30, 40, and then 50, almost 50. So that gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ribs on one side, and then I'm going to carry on that distancing around here, and uh, then you can join me for the next stage. I hope you've got all your straight sticks prepared or all your willow withies soaking because once the board is prepared to act as a frame or if you're going to use your garden then the next stage is to weave it into an upside down basket. That happens in the next video.